like to try to beat a cross, beat, a, beat a trolley, but I mean, I've seen them cross, and but a trolley's like nowhere present, but never that close. The trolley and the street shut down for hours. Eddie Alvarez and his family saw the commotion right in front of the sheriff's station. Uh, just a bunch of fire trucks, cops, uh, caution tape. The trolley's kind of stopped on the tracks. Firefighters say the man was middle-aged, his body wedged under the trolley. But I feel for the family. It's definitely sad. Emily Tho, 10 News. Investigators say there is video of that incident. The medical examiner will also test to see if the man was intoxicated. Now to a crime alert, college students targeted on campus, doing what many people do, walk and talk on the phone at the same time. San Diego State Police say several students have become the victim of crimes on campus in the last month. They're investigating a series of armed robberies, some associated with parties. And one of the biggest mistakes students have been making, not paying attention to what or who's around them. It definitely makes me feel like a little bit um, unsafe to be like walking around at night and I know that every time like I'm in the library I always make sure to bring my pepper spray with me and like use the campus shuttle. San Diego State Police say thieves are targeting people who are distracted. They recommend securing your belongings, traveling in groups and not the biggest thing, not using your cell phone while working, uh, walking. Breaking overnight, a powerful earthquake hitting the Philippines in the middle of the night. At least six people are dead and hundreds more injured. And right now, frantic rescue efforts are underway after homes and businesses were leveled to the ground. It even sent chunks of concrete from one apartment crashing down onto cars below. The magnitude 6.7 quake uh, rattled uh, residents out of bed in Surigao del Norte province, forcing hundreds of people to flee their homes. It's now around midnight there. Nearly 100 aftershocks have been felt since much of the city is still without power. A reservoir in the Santa Cruz Mountains over capacity here, all this excess water creating a massive waterfall, uh, turning roads into creeks, and that is making it very dangerous for drivers as well. The Public Works Department says there have been 56 accidents and Check out this stunning video here, this massive sinkhole where a road used to be, and of this uh, will take months, Robert, to fix. Yeah, that looks bad. 802 new this morning. Governor Jerry Brown wants President Trump to declare California in a state of disaster after all these powerful storms we've had. In a letter to the president last night, Governor Brown said the state is devastated after all the rain. There have been flooding, power outages, and damage across the state. Eight people have died uh, during these storms in the past few weeks. A consumer alert to tell you about this morning. Scammers cashing in on confusion surrounding the immigration law. Officials are warning about scammers offering bogus solutions to immigrants afraid of losing their status. They take money for applications they know that clients are not eligible for. The best way to avoid a scam, make sure the person is a licensed professional. Covering the president's first 100 days, President Trump's Homeland Security, John Kelly here climbing through and into a border tunnel at the San Isidro Port of Entry yesterday. This video here captured only by 10 News, ABC 10 News. Uh, 10 News reporter Bree Steffen was at the border where Kelly gave his only one-on-one -on -one about what needs to happen to secure the border. Thousands of people are crossing back over into Tijuana at the end of the work week and tonight many of them are wondering if security here at the border is going to be changing soon. This ABC News exclusive video shows Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly climbing out of a drug tunnel. One of his more hands on moments from his first tour of the San Diego Mexico border and the security that protects it. The fact that they're spending huge amounts of money to tunnel underneath a, uh, the wall tells you that they can't get through it. He spent the day talking to state and local officials. Chief Shelley Zimmerman getting a chance to press him. The definition of a sanctuary city. Uh, I don't have a clue. Um, it's inconceivable to me that uh, individuals who are sworn to protect uh, their communities would not want someone, anyone, to remove criminals from their, from their um, communities and send them somewhere else. Those who agree with Kelly say the wall should stay. They're doing a great job, and I think it's, it's pretty safe. But others nervous, watching to see the changes Kelly will make and how they will affect them. I just hope he knows what he's doing, and it's better for everybody. I just hope that's the case. In San Isidro, Bree Steffen, 10 News. And we have some new video here to show you. Uh, this is Secretary Kelly's 
view of what he saw inside those underground tunnels. Those there are signs that were pointing to the U.S. and Mexico. These tunnels were actively being used to smuggle drugs from Mexico into San Diego. Now to a crime alert. A Mission Beach man says he's now out of work after a band of thieves stole thousands of dollars worth of tools in the dead of the night. Yeah, 10 News anchor Brian Slonsky spoke to the man who says he has video of the crooks that detectives are already investigating. It's the middle of the night in Mission Beach. Outside this house, everything is quiet until it isn't. I'd say about 4.15, I started hearing clicking outside my bedroom window. Arnie didn't want us to show his face, but says when he heard that noise, he jumped out of bed. I looked up the window and I see someone actually opening our, our driver's side door. And I run out and unfortunately I wasn't dressed. Arnie says he saw the person get into a car down by the roller coaster. At the time, I didn't know that they had gotten into my van completely. I thought we had we had basically caught the person trying to get in at the beginning. But when police showed up, they looked in the van and that's when Arnie realized all his tools were gone. My tools basically keep me alive. Uh, this is my living. This is what I do. And unfortunately, you're at a, uh, a standstill at that point. $5,000 worth of compressors and drills, everything Arnie uses doing handyman work in Mission Beach. You lose all your tools, you lose your job, basically. You know, people are living from paycheck to paycheck, and I'm no exception here. Arnie says he didn't understand how one person could steal that much until he got a call from a neighbor with this surveillance video. They caught all the individuals on camera actually uh, with all my tools in their hands. Arnie says the video tells him one thing. This was a professional hit. It's scary sometimes. It's scary to think that uh, you're not safe in your neighborhood. In Mission Beach, Brian Schlonsky, 10 News. So in case you forgot or haven't thought about it, Valentine's Day is Tuesday. And if your special someone doesn't like chocolate, why not go for some cheese? <laughs> Ron's Wisconsin Cheese is selling sweetheart curds. Mm. You see there, they come in different shades of pink and white. Right? Okay. Look good already to you? Mm -mm. Vanessa, do you approve? Do you want curds? Looks like no. Okay. I better not yeah. say. <laughs> if you'd like to order them, they look like taffy. That's what she wanted to okay. say. We have a link on our website, by the way, if you uh, under the red TV button. And boy, we, our website might crash. <laughs> right? People wanting some curds. Yeah, I better not get curds. I better get chocolates. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> some chocolates, some chocolate covered curd. Hey, no, mm, I'm sure someone's figured that out mm -hmm, already, right? Mm, <laughs> all right. Not. Okay. I, the face <laughs> says it all. Happening now, preparations underway for the Celebrate San Diego Rally. Yeah, this is the first. Sports teams like the Padres, the Goals, the Soccers, they're all getting together hosting this rally for local sports fans. This is at Petco Park. Yeah, and organizers have said, you know, the past few months have just been rough on San Diego, and it's time to push forward. I think, you know, in the aftermath of everything that's gone on here in the last month or so, I think we took a step back and kind of listened to what the community was saying. And, and, the, and the one thing we heard was it's time to move forward and it's time to, to look to the future of the city and, uh, and celebrate how amazing it is to live here. Gates open at 10 and the rally uh, really starts cooking at 1 o'clock. Yeah, and there will be uh, live music, games, a kid zone, and for all the grown-ups, a uh, fully stocked San Diego craft beer garden. Weather Rate Certified, San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. I know. As you said, just getting choked up about all of this. And I'm still thinking about the uh, the curds, the Valentine's curds. Good stuff. <laughs> I, well, I know Good what stuff. I'm getting you. Go to uh, our website. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Order easy. Your I'm present. easy. I'm telling you. 808, look, clouds behind us. That's Del Mar for you. And there's the reason why you could see what's left of this really a fast moving storm. You notice, look, central and northern California, they're usually the ones to get the rain. This time it's down here in Southern California and it's a wraparound moisture as this area of low pressure moves out of here. It's the reason why we are seeing that chance for some showers. We switch now to the 10 news pinpoint Doppler live. You can see just how scattered it is though. It's not everywhere. So as you're moving through from El Cajon, each county basically going towards the west or vice versa, you'll find some rain there on the eight, some on the 15 as well. Some here in Vista, Bonzo, uh, Hidden Meadows out there, just a little bit of uh, showers there. Rain future cast showing as we go throughout this morning. This adjusted just in 
the last uh, 10 minutes or so, you could see, still see some showers here, but it decreases as the day goes on. As we go into the afternoon hours is around uh, 1.30. We see some of that just lingering, mainly up in the mountains. And then late in the afternoon, we're looking pretty good, 4.30. In fact, we'll get some sunshine. Still can't rule it as we go into the evening hours. You see, though, just very scattered stuff, light stuff. This is not a full rain day, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, still seeing some of that. And this could even just be some drizzle to maybe even a light shower or verga where it doesn't really actually fall to the ground. But otherwise, it is cloudy out there. Certainly looks like a stormy day ahead. San Diego Bay, live sky came across. There you see the downtown and the temperatures. Well, they're pretty nice. We did have some low visibility like in Ramona. Uh, 10 is usually a good number, and once we start seeing anything below that, we know that the clouds are beginning to come lower to the ground. But zero is when we start to get thicker, and it might slow some people down, but otherwise not looking not looking to be the case. Temperatures now, 57 for La Jolla, same thing for Kearney Mesa, El Cajon, a lot of 57s, including Escondido and Poway, and only warming up into the upper 50s, low 60s for our highs, so below average. Look, we become uh, above average come Monday, Tuesday, look at Wednesday, Valentine's Day, looking nice if you've got a, you're off and you normally do a Valentine's Day day event picnic not not bad at all and seven day forecast couple of days of 70s for 60s rather for the weekend and then four days of 70s and the next chance for rain coming on Friday very nice okay mm -hmm. a woman di misdiagnosed with cancer why her doctor mm -hmm. is still practicing this morning also teens pulled into sex trafficking the race to help save local victims 10 news takes you inside the undercover sting and a boy saves. Well, I'm not going to tell you how much, but it is unbelievable. So what he saved in recycling, and we'll tell you about his big plans after cashing in those cans. You can get breaking news as it happens anytime by following us on Twitter at 10 News. 10 News this morning, connecting you to the stories your family needs to start the day. We have extra time for travel. We are in that dense fog advisory, and we have two accidents on the 805 this morning. The head of Homeland Security will get a first-hand look at our border. And he'll be taking a look at what San Diego already does to secure its border. Four people, including a 16-year-old girl, arrested in a plan to attack friends. 10 News this morning, stories that matter. Family-friendly volunteer opportunities.